We're also learning more about a 17 year old boy shot and killed in Hampton. Daquan Newton was gunned down Monday night on Michigan Drive. Tonight we're hearing from his family. They want the ongoing violence to stop. Andy Fox talked with his mother today and has new information in the case. Andy. Tom and Lena, the family is in pain. They held a news conference today at Hampton City Hall. They want to get out their message that they need your help to bring to justice the people responsible for what has happened. To seek justice for my son. Vicara Coker's son, Viquan Newton, was shot here in the 300 block of Michigan Drive. He was able to drive here to Michigan and LaSalle Avenue, took a left and drove about a mile to just past Armistead Avenue where he drove off into a ditch. Newton lives with his brother and sister-in-law. A knock at the door. Police. The news. I kind of just shut the door and went in my room and screamed. And like, I knew I had to call her because I didn't want the detectives to tell her the news. Felicia called her mother-in-law, Vicara Coker. I fell to the floor. I called for my mother because she was at my house in preparation of going to the press conference for my daughter who was killed two years ago. Coker's daughter killed by an Amtrak train, now this. I feel like he was targeted because of all of his successes and the way that he carried himself. He, he was super successful at football, super successful as an entrepreneur, super successful with day trading. He even had a job. Mom says her son was not in or never has been in a gang, but she does have a message for the evil that killed her son. You guys don't deserve to take people's lives. You don't deserve to end people's lives. You don't deserve to end people's lives. You don't, you don't get to do that. A mother who's now lost two children. But know this, for anyone out there who knows something. I'm not going away. So may you all, whoever is involved, whoever knows who killed my child and is not saying anything, may you all endure and live the life that you deserve. Not that you desire, that you deserve. She's not going away. The family is appreciative of all Hampton High School has done. They say the football coach and his wife picked them up at the airport with a signed jersey from the team. There is a candlelight vigil for Viquan at Hampton High School, Monday at 6 p.m. If you know anything, please call Hampton Police. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.